Why do I get the feeling that I'm being watched by a Pikachu? No, it's some other type of mouse, I think. Oh wow, another earthquake. I guess it settled down. There've been a lot of earthquakes lately. You know, I really shouldn't have all these open flames laying around at a time like this. Oh hi, you're up early, Santa Quill. Did you notice the earthquake earlier? It's hard to get decent sleep when there are so many earthquakes. Hey! Oh, Lombre! What's the matter? We need you at the square. Everyone's gathering there. Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure. Shiftry's calling everyone out. He's getting the other rescue teams to come. Cynical, let's go. Wow, look at all the Pokemon. Looks like they sent out to a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. That's Shiftry. I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh... It's not my style to get up in front of everyone like this, and... Sorry. This isn't the time for that. There's big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground. But they haven't returned. What? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately. Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon. And that's it. We haven't heard anything from them. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. No idea? How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. But they haven't come back. That's for real. That's right, and it sounds as if Groudon is out of our league. What? It's that tough? This Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? Huh? You've got to be kidding me. There's magma flowing everywhere underground. I'd burn up if I went anywhere like that. Quiet, please. Be quiet. There's no denying that it is dangerous underground. It's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? See, Cynequil, this is a great opportunity. Let's go. Don't bother, you guys. What's with you? Can you step aside? You guys have gotten a lot tougher, that's for sure, but... There's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there. Will no one step forward? I'll go. Whoa! It's B Blastoise! You mean Team Hydro's Roughneck Blastoise? Those water spouts on his back can rocket water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates. It's rumored Groudon is a ground type. I am a water type, strong against the ground type. My Hydro Pump will put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Woohoo! It's Octillery! She's Team Constrictor's leader! She's known for persistent and cleany attacks. She ensnares foes with her tentacles, then headbutts them. She'd be nasty to face in any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about not forgetting about me? Wow, Golem! He's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. His body is rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. If Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me fine. I'll use my rock throw to keep it buried underground. 
Oh, Blastoise, Octillery, and Golem. No one could complain about your selection. You will have these three rescuers head underground. Yeah, good choice! You're representing us. Make us proud! Let's go! Win it for us! Save Alakazam's team! See? They look pretty tough, eh? Let them handle things. Hmm. It can't be helped, Cinequil. I wish we could have gone too. But there's nothing we can do about that. Blastoise's team can take care of things underground. We'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work. No mail, huh? Perhaps there's something interesting on the bulletin board today. Though I don't think anything could top the mission we got from Why Not and Wobbuffet in terms of a weird request. But it couldn't hurt to check. Let's see. Hello, what's this? Smeargle's desperate plea? Well, that seems rather peculiar. And it's in an area we've never been to before. With an unknown reward, huh? Smeargle's desperate plea, huh? That's quite the title. What does it say? Can you read it? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Smeargle. I once had aspirations of becoming an artist. Then one day, there was an incident of an unforgivable nature. I fled because I didn't want to become an adult. But then I lost my way. I now find myself in this forest, unable to extricate myself. I am lost in the Howling Forest! Somebody, please save me! Hmm... He ran away because he didn't want to become an adult? What's that about? I don't really get this. But let's go rescue the Smeargle anyway. Well, I guess we have our next destination. We're heading to the Howling Forest. Well, our son, tell me, do the earthquakes frighten you? Yes, Papa. They are very scary. Especially when I'm burrowing. It makes me twitchy because I get so scared. Papa? Papa, aren't you afraid of earthquakes? Of course they don't scare us. What do you take us for? If we were in charge, this is what we do to any earthquake. <sighs> okay, Papa, you're so special. I can always count on those two to lighten the mood. Or would it be those four? I'm not really sure how the Diglett family works, but I guess that's the least of our concerns. For now, let's head on to our next mission. Somehow, this mission wound up being even more strange than the one with the Mankey game. We were basically trying to help a Smeargle run away from home. I didn't really get it. So what the heck am I even supposed to be filling this inner monologue with? I guess I should appreciate being able to have a laid-back adventure right now. Especially since we just had that discussion in the plaza about Alakazam's team still being missing. But seriously, what are we even doing right now? The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it all sounds. Then again, a lot of things in this world just don't seem to make sense. I've said this before, but what are these perfectly crafted staircases doing in all of these forests and volcanoes in the first place? Or better yet, how come when I look up, I see the sky, and when I look down, I see the ground, but when we take the staircase, there's supposedly an entirely separate floor above or beneath us with no other openings that look exactly like the floor we're on right now. How does that even work? Speaking of working, how does an economy run entirely by Pokemon even work? Why do they need money in the first place when so many of them live off the land and eat for free whenever they find something on the ground? We didn't even spend any money when building our team base. We just chopped down a bunch of trees from a nearby forest. 
And what makes me so special that I'm the only Pokemon in the entire town who even lives in a house, while everyone else lives outside in the wild? Or in the case of the shopkeepers, they just sleep at their post. They don't even have a bed to lay in. It's all so weird. And you know what else is weird? How do these Pokemon even know about the existence of humans in the first place? Are humans a mythical creature to them? Is this a post-apocalyptic future where only Pokemon survived, and humans are a thing of the past? And how in the world are these Pokemon able to talk? Is it just because I'm a Pokemon that I can understand them? Because from what I remember about my own world, Pokemon can only ever say their name. Or maybe they're named after the only thing they could say. Ugh, my head hurts. Suddenly I miss being under such stressful situations all the time. Let's hurry up and find the Smeargle already. My brain is just about fried at this point. I mean, seriously, how did we build that stinking house without any of us having thumbs? Oh, I've lost my bearings. Where is this? I can't get out. I'm hungry. I'm in trouble. Oh, you are... Did you maybe come to rescue me? Am I glad to see you? Thank you so much. You saved me from great peril. No problem, Smeargle. But what made you run away in the first place? Your letter says something about not wanting to become an adult. That is... Oh! Look, there he is! Yeah, I see him. We've got to get him back quick. More Smeargle? Two of them? Hey, Smeargle, what do they want? They're... my friends. Now, come with us. The grown-up ritual is ready for you. Quit fighting this. Have the paw print applied without a fuss. N no If I have to get that paw print on my back, I'd rather not become a grown-up. What was that? What grown-up ritual? It's a custom among us, Smeargle. When we reach a certain age, they mark our backs with paw prints to show we're grown-ups. They do that by taking the front paw and pushing down on the back. I can't live with anything so tasteless. I have dreams of creating great art, so I have certain standards for design that I swear by. I know. I have decided. I shall join Cyndaquil's rescue team. I will participate in your rescue activities. So I won't return to the pack. This is where I will dedicate myself. Is... is that so? Then there's nothing we can do. We will inform the elders of your decision. We wish you luck in your new career as a rescuer. Oh wow, that's one pushy way of getting a job. But that's okay. You're on the team now. We expect your best, Smeargle. Yes, thank you. One thing I'm good at is drawing and painting. For example, let me see. Ah, how about that? Observe the design of that flag. I could perhaps redesign the flag? If you wish to alter the flag's design, you must tell me, please. I get the feeling he's not going to be helping us out in any battles. I will find my own place in the sky blue plains. Until then. Oh well, welcome aboard. 